For thousands of years, ancient astronomers could only study the stars and planets with their eyes. But from the 1600s, the invention of the telescope allowed astronomers to see more as telescopes grew bigger and better over time. Astronomers were able to study fainter and more distant objects and they discovered more worlds in our solar system. In 1930, astronomer Clyde Tombaugh discovered our ninth planet using the Clark Telescope in Arizona. He did this by comparing images of the night sky taken on different nights and finding a tiny speck of light moving in front of the background stars. See? Pluto was found in a region of space called the Kuiper Belt, an area that stretches out beyond Neptune full of icy remnants from the formation of the solar system. Once our ninth planet was discovered, it needed a name. Eventually, Pluto was decided on, after a god of the underworld. This was first suggested by an 11-year-old. Pluto is incredibly far from the sun and is freezing cold. It's minus 232 degrees Celsius on average. It's not only cold, but quite dark on Pluto. Midday on this distant world is only as bright as twilight here on Earth. While the Earth has one moon, Pluto has five known moons called Styx, Nix, Hydra, Charon, and Cerberus. Pluto was enjoying its planet status until <gasps> astronomers started to discover other objects that were similar in size in the Kuiper Belt. Then things started to get complicated. Should all these objects be called planets? In 2006, a new definition of a planet was announced, and Pluto was reclassified as a dwarf planet. No. So why is Pluto not a planet anymore? Let's explore the three requirements an object must meet to be called a planet. First up, the object must orbit the Sun. Pluto does exactly this, and takes 248 Earth years to complete one orbit. Secondly, the object must be massive enough that gravity pulls it into a roughly round shape. Let's see... Yep, another tick for Pluto. And now the third and final rule. The object must have a large enough gravitational force to clear the neighbourhood around its orbit. Unfortunately, because Pluto shares its orbit with other large icy objects, including its moon Charon, we can't tick this box, which is why Pluto is no longer a planet. Pluto is not the only dwarf planet in our solar system and has joined a really cool club. That includes Ceres, Eris, Haumea and Maki Maki, initially codenamed the Easter Bunny because it was discovered around Easter time. And there are potentially loads of other dwarf planets yet to be discovered. Space is so weird and wonderful that categorizing everything we find can be tricky, but that's what makes it such an exciting place to explore. <laughs>